Yeah. Yeah. I've been down so long, it look like up to me. They look up to me. I got fake people showing fake love. Hey, what it is, in our empire. I'm glad y'all actually tuning in tonight. What we about to do is go in here and cook some steak and beef enchiladas. So we're going to mix both of them together. Actually, tell you the truth, I already got the stuff already on, so I'm a little bit late on this video, so don't mind me, y'all, so, you know, but, uh, anyway, I got some, um, beans and rice, too, I'm gonna add with it, so just eat that on the side, you know, just like a little Mexican little dish, but, um, yeah, let's go ahead and tune in. I'm gonna pull some of that on the steak. Okay, the steak is all done. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this grease off of here and put the green chilies up in there real quick. Just like beach. Here we go. Yeah. Put that back on there. Then we about to drop the diced green chilies on up in there. Having trouble getting the pan opened up in one hand. Then we're going to let that simmer and cook in. Mix that on. I'm going to make it all over. I'm making a mess up in here. Beef almost done. Then we about to go ahead and mix some of this green sauce up in there. Just a little bit. That's a little touch. And mix that on around. Then let that cook in. It's going to taste extra bomb, y'all. That's how I like my steak. Swimmer up in the green sauce and the green chilies. It's bomb.com, so y'all wanted to try that out. Y'all, I have to uh, cut this video for a minute. My ass done started cooking and done forgot the damn cheese for the, uh, the enchiladas. How you gonna cook che uh, enchiladas without cheese? <laughs> so I gotta run to the store real fast and get this cheese. So, yeah, we are we about to go on a trip real quick. So, stay with me. Hey, y'all, so we at the store right now. Something happened over there. Some lady ran into a pole. I guess she was playing bumper cars with a pole over there. So, she ran into that. But, we about to go in here and get this cheese. And that's about it. So, I can hurry up and get back to the food and finish cooking. So, yeah, we about to go in this store real quick. Okay, I'm not the run over here and grab a cheese real quick. I don't know why I came down this uh, pets aisle. I do not need anything they've got to do with pets. So let's go over here. Cheese should be right here. And we are gonna get the We're gonna get the Mexican style cheese for 185. Two of And then we're about to go to the counter and be like, actually pay. And then we're about to get out of here and go back to the house and cook. So, yeah. Y'all went on a little field trip real quick. That's about it. <sighs> Should see if I want something up in here, but I know I don't need nothing. This came from here just a little bit ago. So we got the cheese so 
I'm about to get back in the car and get out of here and um go finish up this food i am starving oh my god but yeah next time y'all see me i'll be at the house cooking okay, well, i'm back so i'm about to preheat the oven real quick to 350. and i can get this food ready mom's over there pounding the meat real quick Yeah, y'all see what she's doing over there. She just munching it up real quick so it ain't all bunched up together. Yeah, so that's mom's right there, y'all. Say what's up, mom. What's up? can of dice cream chilies up in the hamburger meat the other one went up inside the uh steak remember y'all and then we bought the pour the burrito seasoning up in there i usually use two packs as y'all seen before if y'all don't watch my other videos pour that all up in there then we gonna need a little bit of green sauce to smoothen it out then you're going to blend all that together and mix it on up. The reason why I like to put green sauce up in mine, y'all, is because if you notice that once you put seasoning up into the ground beef or whatever, it'd be um, kind of dry. So I don't like dry meat. I hate dry meat. So I learned that trick on my own. Been doing it since I was a kid. And it works just fine and everybody loves it. So y'all going to test that out. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Alright, so let me go ahead and wash my hands real quick before I get started. Alright, y'all, so that's mixed in. All good. And then we're going to go ahead and dump this steak on up in there. Here we go. And then mix that all together on up in there. Perfect. And then we're about to go ahead and make the chicken enchiladas. It ain't gonna take that long, probably about a good 10 minutes and everything. So everything go ahead and get cooked all in, and then the cheese get melted. And then y'all gonna see the outcome. I'm about to go ahead and roll these up real quick, and I'll show y'all what it looks like after. Because I'm only using two hands right now, so it's a little bit difficult. You know. And then you gotta put a little bit of green sauce in your pan. So then it could be at the bottom of the pan. And on the enchiladas. Wiggle that all around. Make sure you get on the sides and all that good stuff. You know. And we about to go ahead and roll them real quick. Okay y'all, so. Ooh, I can't even get the can right. But we about to go ahead and put the refried beans on real quick. And then get the rice off. Started. It's already rolled up. Oh lord, I cannot get this out of this can with one hand. Y'all want to hold on. Okay, there we go. My bad, y'all. But start this. Put that on low. Then. I got the rice already up in there, the Spanish rice. Just gotta pour the little seasoning going up in there and then put some water up in there. Drained out, so 
Gonna watch this eye if I be tripping. And I see it's gonna act a fool. And then in the beans, you can put a little bit of green sauce so they ain't all dried out. And then we're going to put some of this steak and meat, clean side of seasoning on up in there. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, there we go. Just a little couple of sprinkles on up in there. There we go. Then we're going to let that all cook up and everything like that. I'm about to go ahead and put the enchiladas on up in the, um, put the, actually put the sauce on it and then put the cheese on them. So, made a couple right here. Still got some meat left over, so I'm about to actually make a little bit more. So, we ain't got nothing left over. And I'm about to show y'all how it looks with you adding cheese on it. So, we're about to use the rest of this little bit of sauce. We got an extra can. Get these on up in the oven. They can take a little bit more stuff. That's enough. I'm about to sprinkle the cheese over it. I like a lot of cheese on mine. I like mine's cheese on when I go ahead and plate it and get it out the oven and all that good stuff. Beans are slowly cooking. Almost done. Sprinkle a little cheese on up in there with them. If you don't sprinkle cheese up in your refried beans, that rhyme y'all. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you don't know what you're missing out on. So just blend that on up. Put on, on a little bit more. Rice is over there boiling. And the um, enchiladas is in the oven. It'll be done in a minute. So, yeah, y'all. Y'all see what it is right now. Just cooking up in this kitchen right now. Um, I want y'all to go ahead and like this video and um, leave some comments. So, you know, let me know what y'all think about the video, about the food, all that good stuff. After it get done and stuff, I'm gonna take pictures of it and all that type of stuff, whatever, so. Anyway, I'm just over here rambling. Don't really know what I'm talking about right now. I think I'm starving, so that's a problem. But, um, anyway, but, yeah, y'all about to see what it looked like after. All right, we about to the enchiladas out of the oven. I'm trying to get this towel right first. I'm going to get this little one first. Right here. Y'all see how they look? Look bomb, don't it? Yeah. Read 
Y'all in there for a minute because I put down the last. Yeah, we're going to put this one out right here. There we go. Let's see how that looks. That's how it looks after. It all came out the oven. Now we're about to plate them up and put all the beans and all that good stuff on there. Alright, y'all, so this is what it looked like after. Oops. Not the good. Alright, so go ahead and give a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe and leave a comment, all that good stuff. And tune in for the next one.